he wants to uh, inspect these air ducts and see if they're in good enough shape to keep or should we replace them. And plus I need to clean these dirty little funk meisters. Blah. So I can put a light in there. Okay. So He's got to put a light in there so you can see, or so he can see. I'm just going to tell y'all what he says because he talks so damn quiet. What? You so pretty. I'm talking. talking to you. <laughs> He's so pretty. Get you all standing there all sexy. So pretty. I see your booty. I see your booty. The air conditioner's not working right. So, we have a window AC in until we can figure out um, what the problem is. Of course, we're taking one issue at a time. Um, see, even with the new thermostat over there, uh, it's not working right. Doug says it's probably not hooked up right. It's slightly different wiring than the original. So we got to figure that out. But we're taking little steps at a time. That way uh, we can slowly reach the more expensive fix if we need to. We're hoping we won't have to replace the entire unit. I don't think we're going to have to. It may just need maintenance. Maybe the fan is froze up. I don't know. It may not be as big a deal as we're thinking that it is. Putting the flashlight up there. We'll never see that damn thing again. And he's going to go see if he can see light on the other end. Wow. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so it's it's at least not... I don't know what's in there, but right, it's not blocked at least. There may be some debris. We can clean it out. Good deal. We got these jack stands set of four. I'm finding out $40 was a ripoff and they, we should have paid no more than about 25, <laughs> but we weren't shopping online. We were in the store. So, but, um, Doug was not very comfortable with this narrow little jigamajank, whatever it is. So he took, uh, two of the four to work and altered them. And he made it like this. He, uh, he put that on there so that it's the right size for the beam that it's going to wrap around to hold it better. All right, so there's the um, scissor jack that yeah, is froze up. It's no good. I'm going to cut it off. And the other one's gone. It's not there at all. So he's got to cut that one off. I'm not worried about it right now, though. But that's actually where you should have the jack right there, huh? Yeah. He's just going to put it right around that scissor jack. I guess I need to do that for now. Yeah, just, just for now. That'll work. Just, this is just, a, just for now till you can cut that off? Yeah, I gotta cut this off. Yeah, because walking in this RV is no joke. It wobbles and sways. It drives me crazy. Then we went to the store the other night, and I felt like the whole store was rocking and swaying. I'm so used to walking in this RV. It was so weird. The jack stand. Just, God, look at the ants. Where? Oh my god. All the way down. That's some boo shakalaka right there now. But yeah. So he's going to put the other one on instead. And then he's going to take the other two jacks from the set to work and do the same thing to those and put those in the middle. It's going to be super stable. Yeah, yes. Dock builders, divers. Established, I don't have my glasses on. Is that 1905? Um, local Union, 1456. I wonder if this RV is in such good condition with just poor storage issues because it belonged to them and they used it in their travels, you know, which happens from time to time, but not every week. Huh, that would be interesting. Doug says he knows now why the other jack is broke off. Look at this. I hope you can see it. Look at the bend. Can you see that? It's completely bent. That's the frame. That's the beam. It's bent sideways right there. Shit. Too close. 
I don't know if you can see this or not because I'm I'm kind of at a weird angle. I thought that if there's any damage to the frame like this, that would make it an instant salvage title. If it's ever been claimed on like an insurance or whatever. I may be wrong. Y'all can give me a heads up on that because if this is a salvage situation, he's taking some money right out of his pocket and giving it back to me. Oh, man. Because doesn't that like, um, what is it? Jeopardizes the integrity of everything above that frame, I would think. We were out here doing more, you know, settling in, going through stuff. And we decided, well, I decided <laughs> to let's mess with the uh, awning because Doug said it was locked into place. So I said, well, let's unlock it. It needs to be cleaned. I was shocked that it's not tore out of crap. It's, it's fine. It's got a little bit of, it's dirty, obviously. It's got a little bit of, I can't reach it now. It's too high. There's a little bit of, well, you can see through it right there. I hope you can see, see it. I can see the light of the sky through there and there. It's got a little bit of dry rot going on, but all in all, this area, so far looks fine it just needs to be cleaned so we're probably going to go to the store tomorrow to get that on in cleaner and a sprayer it's pretty cheap and take a brush to it with a long handle and clean it up real good i do know that the awning above our bed has to be replaced i'll show you that you can see it from here see that it was fine when we, well, it obviously looked fine when we first got the RV, but in our efforts to repair the slides, pulling them in and out, this one was fine, but it always came out first. Uh, it's tore all the crap. And I know a lot of RVs don't even have these, but they are a bonus. And I plan on keeping this RV in as tip top shape as possible. It's already worth more than we paid for it. Um, anyway, the day we bought it, because the repairs were so minor. Well, minor for people that know how to do the show. This awning looks fine. This really big one here looks perfectly fine. That little one's the only one we've got to replace, so that's a good thing. I've got to get one of those uh, extended jiggies so that I can uh, clean the outside windows, like the inside. Uh, we've got to get, see that one's okay, that one's fine. All the way down and all the way around, the big ones are fine. That is such a good thing. Uh, just the small one we got to replace, which we'll do ourselves and we'll do that in a video too, when we finally do it. But the bedroom has no leak in the bed area at all. So I'm still happy, people. I'm still happy with our $5,800 purchase. All in all, we got a damn good deal.